Beowulf movie review. A small outpost is continually attacked by a beast known as Grendel every night. On account of this, there's actually a group of warriors near the castle who kill anyone who leaves the castle just to make sure that the evil does not get out. One day a, not gonna call him young, warrior shows up, he's named Beowulf, and he's there to kill Grendel. This is either set in a post-apocalyptic era that I'm not sure we're ever told the year of, or it's in a bit of a historically revisionist envisioned Middle Ages. Either way, it's got Middle Ages stuff, but it also has current technology and at least one black dude with a tood. I apologize, I will never utter those words again. This movie is awesome. That's really the main thing that it attempts to be, and if that alone does not appeal to you, just stay away, because this is not a movie for you. The movie is a ton of fun. It's a B-movie, but it's really not trying to... It's, it's not trying to be anything other than just a fun B-movie. And on the production side, it's actually pretty well filmed, and the score, although consisting of this interesting mix of rock and techno, actually fits surprisingly well. It creates a very nice look and feel to it. It has pretty decent atmosphere. Again, not something you would think with that kind of soundtrack, which does, by the way, really, really kick ass. The, the designs are also quite nice. We get a lot of really awesome weaponry. The creature itself is nicely designed, and it, it does resemble a couple of famous monsters, but the eventual combination, you know, what it actually looks like, doesn't particularly remind me of anything else I've seen. The action is great most of the time, although at times it does feel a little like stuff was cut in that, like, it, it feels a little like what we're seeing didn't really happen, like suddenly they cut to the stunt double. And Christopher Lambert, stunt flips backwards as much as he possibly can. I don't know if that was in the script or he just demanded it, but he is really proud of being able to do backflips. He rocks as Beowulf. He is just spot on. He is such a badass. In fact, pretty much everyone in this, the, the major characters at least, are badass. They're not just trying to be badass, they actually are badass. And their dialogue is just so much, so such delicious one-linery goodness. As the female lead, we have Rona Mitra's cleavage, and I can see why they cast specifically that pair of breasts, because they are quite nice. I'm not kidding, every single time she's in this movie, every single time you see the front of her, her breasts are showing. In fact, I think that was in someone's contract for this movie. None of the women wear clothing. They might, like, cover up just the tiniest little bit, but they're not actually dressed, basically. The 
pace is surprisingly good. I mean, it is a pretty short movie. Without the credits, I believe it's 82 minutes long. Maybe 83. By the way, about the credits, the opening credits are basically the Mortal Kombat opening credits, you know, the 95 movie. All they did was replace, you know, the words and the, I guess, icon or image behind it. And it's lightning instead of fire, and that's it. Even the music sounds really familiar. You know, I have a feeling they just got that same animation and just switched those couple of elements around. About the CGI, it is early. You know, it's the movie's from 1999. The CGI is not fantastic. It is not up to up to today's standards, and I suppose it isn't entirely up to 1999 standards either, as you know the whole The Matrix. But it is pretty good, and they use it right. They don't depend on it too much. They tend to cut back and forth, like in you know older movies where they couldn't just you know, have something CGI walking around in front of the camera all the time. So instead, suspense is built. And that actually does work in this movie. It It is reasonably suspenseful at times. And the effects in general are really good. You know, the gore effects and blood and everything. It looks quite real most of the time. All in all, just a really fun film. Just turn off your brain and enjoy it. And from what I understand, it's relatively similar to the, you know, the poem it's based on. I know it's sacrilege. I'm Danish and I haven't read the Beowulf poem. But yeah, if this at all sounds appealing to you, watch this movie. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.